Uh, I'm Ju Yong Han from Samsung Medical Center, Seoul, Korea. I'm an interventional cardiologist and my main research topic is myocardial infarction, antiplatelet therapy and intravascular imaging and other uh, many uh, subsets. Several trials have shown lower rates of uh, adverse clinical events after IVUS guided PCI compared with angiography guided PCI. However, none of them have been considered to be definitive owing to limited sample size, relative short follow-up duration, and the inclusion of highly specific lesion subsets. Several years ago, our group have already reported that among patients undergoing complex PCI, the use of IVUS was significantly associated with lower rates of cardiac death and other adverse cardiac events. However, to confirm the benefit of intravascular imaging large, a randomized trial is needed. Therefore, we conducted the Renovate Complex PCI to investigate intravascular imaging guided PCI would improve clinical outcomes compared with angiography guided PCI in patients with complex coronary artery lesions. The current trial was an investigator initiated prospective randomized multi center open label study. Patients with complex coronary artery lesions were randomly assigned in two to one fashion to undergo either imi intravascular imaging guided PCI or angiography guided PCI. Complex coronary artery lesions included unprotected left main, true bifurcation, CTO, diffuse lung lesion, etc. We had minimal exclusion criteria to enroll a broad spectrum of patients with complex coronary artery lesions. PCI and the imaging acquisition were performed with the use of a standard technique. In the intravascular imaging group, the choice between IVUS or OCT were at the operator's discretion. The primary endpoint was a target vessel failure defined as a composite of cardiac death, target vessel related MI, or clinically driven target vessel revascularization. From May 2018 uh, to May 2021, a total of 1,639 patients underwent randomization, with 1,092 assigned to the intravascular imaging group and 547 assigned to the angiography guided PCI group. At three years, the cumulative instance of the primary endpoint was significantly lower in the intravascular imaging guided PCI group compared with the angiography guided PCI group. 7.7% versus 12.3%. The uh, difference was statistically significant. One of the important secondary endpoints, a composite of a cardiac death or target vessel related MI, occurred less frequently in the intervascular imaging group compared with angiography guided PCI group. There are no apparent group difference with regard to procedure-related safety event. Our trial demonstrated intravascular imaging reduced the risk of target vessel failure compared with angiography-guided PCI in patients with complex coronary artery lesions. All over the world, the penetration of intravascular imaging is quite low, uh, less than 15% in the US, I hope uh, the use of intravascular imaging uh, can be increased uh, in patients with complex coronary artery lesions. Uh, currently, major guidelines recommend IVUS or OCT be considered in, special, uh, in patients uh, with special lesions uh, by class 2A, but after uh, 
publication of our trial, I hope uh, the class would be upgraded as class one. One of the uh, limitations of our trial is that uh, we exclusively involved Korean patients, which might limit the generalizability of the trial results. And the use of intravascular imaging as a cost to the PCI procedure, so the analysis for cost effectiveness is warranted.